What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Alright, good morning everybody. It is now 11am on a Tuesday, uh, February 27th. And we are back with some Against the Storm today. So yesterday we started a brand new cycle, so we're going to jump back in and take a look at where we're at. I think we're at Gathering Storm today. Or at least last time I remember. Yep. We did two towns yesterday. Uh, one was Corrosive Torrent. And the other one was Hanged Viceroy. And so we got two extra villagers. And we are going towards the Adamantine Seal over here. Hey Stombird, good morning. Um, so I'm looking at probably zigzagging over here. Uh, like this, and then just go straight to this. Well, maybe around this corner. I think around this corner, right? Yeah, so we'll probably zigzag this way to the seal. All right, so here we're going to hit up the Coral Forest next to Gathering Storm. And Gathering Storm says 10% longer um, every year. So the first year actually applies. So first year is going to be 110% because Prestige 2 is 100. So and multiplied by the base of 2 minutes. So we're going to look at probably like maybe maybe 4 minutes and uh, something seconds. Um, yeah, 2 times 60, right? That's 120 times 1.1. Oh, uh, right or no? Two minutes, right? Is yeah, it's a two-minute storm times a times two, right? That's uh okay, so 120 seconds, or sorry, 120 minutes times 2.10. It should be 252 divided by 60. That's about yeah, four minutes and 20 seconds will be the first uh, the timer for the first storm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And this is February 27th, cycle number 30, Prestige 20, and town number three. Uh, Ron, I managed to achieve the Prestige 20 seal. Yeah, I got your message on Steam. You you had messaged messaged me that, and congratulations on that. My question: Which uh, Prestige level would you suggest for starting the Queen Hands journey? Um, do whatever you can that's comfortable i mean viceroy is probably the bare minimum i think to do some of the uh the the prestige uh, early runs now i'll try to hit up i guess modifiers negative negative modifiers uh, whenever you can because the negative modifiers will give you the resupplies to get you those fragments um did the first one on P9 and failed? Yeah, see, I, I kind of figured. Hey, Aquin, good morning. Hope all is well. Yeah, thank you for hanging out today. Um, so yeah, Prestige 9 is really rough, especially when you have no upgrades. So I would recommend going Viceroy. Uh, and then maybe Prestige 5 tops. Uh, 4 or 5. All right, so we have the Gathering Storm on Coral Forest, right? And it looks like the top is humans and and fox combo, which I like because Coral Forest is very good for foxes. It's already got clay, which is great. So for this, yes, this is actually a very good deal. This is a good deal. This is a decent deal, it's not great. Got two points locked, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll probably take that, right? Because then that gets me tradable materials. I think this is a good setup right here, right? So we've got veggies for the humans and foxes to get porridge. One, two, three. We got three food items total. Planks to start. Two points is a really good deal, especially on Coral Forest. Two points for provisions is a very good deal because that's pretty much getting a ton of this to convert to this. 
And then small farm for five points, which is decent. Not great, but we'll take it. And uh, yeah, so we have uh, some clay to start, which is fine. All right, we'll go with this. All right, let's go. <laughs> Unsubscribe if you don't choose humans and foxes, right. Humans and foxes is definitely the way to go for that one. Oh, all right, harpies, okay, whatever, fine. Uh, euphoric vapors, this is a uh, complex food. We have to have two complex food needs. So not just one, we can't, we can't get that resolve boost unless they eat two. So this is kind of crappy early on. Yeah, it's very crappy early on, actually. I think the only one that's that might get this is boxes because of the pickle goods and porridge. Uh, quaking bog, okay. Gathering speed is reduced. No contact. Don't turn anything in during the storm. Acid rain. Uh, recipes producing materials yields 30% fewer goods. Yeah, okay, we can get out of that, sort of, I think. Uh, two blight rots disappears in the sky. Multiply the number of years that pass. Okay, this is kind of rough, actually. It's pretty deadly. This might not be bad every... every year, except for the third years. Because um, if we get, like, Baptism of Fire or Burnt to Crisp, this might be useful. Um... Right, and we already know about that one. No contact should work uh, both ways. What do you mean both ways? Mm. All right, I'm gonna take this one because incense is usually used to solve events. Ooh, the beanery. Well, beanery it is. Let's take it. It's beanery and pickle goods. Alright, so that is a very good start. Alright, what do we got? Okay, we got two meat, three veggies, and three stones. Very, very good. Excellent. Bill and Ted. This is going to be an excellent expedition. Excellent adventure. So yeah, I was looking at the reviews, by the way. Today is the day where Builders of Greece gets launched into early access, and I was looking at some reviews, and some people <laughs> was a little too generous and decided to give them a, a positive rating, but in their dis in their comments for the review, pretty much said everything that about it as if it was a negative review. I'm like, well, why do you even bother rating it as a positive when... Your review says, don't get it. <laughs> I, I just don't understand that. Mistake much or no? Or they just pity the the game that much that they think that it's going to get negative. So they just wanted to throw some positives just to counterbalance it. So I don't know what that's about. But yeah, I was looking at all the reviews. The positives and the negatives basically said the same thing. This game is a demo. Don't get it. Stay away. Has bugs. Um, could be fishing for keys? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I have no idea. But yeah, uh, Builders of Greece. I actually downloaded the latest version they they had just to verify to see if it was actually better than the version I got. Um, apparently they fixed the bug by just completely removing the archery in general. Um, and then the only thing that they added was a new quest line right after we had done or maybe our version was bugged. There was a button to upgrade the Agora and buttons to upgrade the houses but Here's the thing, I actually did that all in 30 minutes. Like, because it was instant build, since I didn't have to, like, sit around and entertain chat, or read all the dialogues, or listen to the, the guy's voiceover, I just clicked next, and then bam, 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 I just breezed through the whole thing in 30 minutes. I'm like, this, 
you're you're wanting me to pay twenty dollars for a demo. That was pretty much the the review everyone said because they actually played the demo. They played the prologue and they said, "Hey, you know, this is a the free prologue with a sandbox map added." That's pretty much what they said, and they're like, "I feel ripped off because I just got basically the pro. Uh, I'm paying for the demo." So I really feel bad, and they, I don't know why the developers even like put that in early access. It hurts them more, because then they're gonna get all these negative reviews, and then the game's never gonna get released. They're not gonna make any money off of it. I'm gonna take silent looting. So it's so bugged that they had to completely remove a key part of the game. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> um, because we encountered that bug yesterday. We clicked on the arch or the archery range thing. And it's like minus one or minus two, the Tez, uh, the Tez, the Tez, right? I think that's how you pronounce pronounce it. And um, like everything I did in that one hour and twenty minutes stream yes or two days ago, I um I did in like thirty minutes, and already got bored after that. And that was the end of the run. They did add in a technology feature where you research. An unlock crap and that was not instant um it was actually um time based but still you're sitting around waiting for a technology research it's pretty bad though mm. Okay, there's three of you guys. Come on, start working. Right, I'm gonna add another one then. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe they weren't thinking, maybe they just decided to rush it out. I mean, they were they're publishing basically a demo. So I don't, I don't get what was going on there. And, um, I guess their previous title, Builders of Egypt, was something that they, they announced before that. It's made, apparently it's made by a separate development studio. Um, never got released. And somebody was saying is it's, it was basically Builders of Egypt reskin. So maybe the source code was just passed on to these guys. So no idea what's going on with that. Update today, Bob Greeno. Hi, new update? No, there's no new update today. Um, Oh, the, the uh, Builders of Greece got an update. There was an update for Builders of Greece, not this game. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too confusing. Now, Against the Storm should be getting an update uh, in in March. Looking forward to that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Unfair rationings. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, we're getting, um, Gord. And Gord DLC. Two new biomes. Five new missions. So, I'm actually looking forward to that. Hopefully, the DLC does not have as many bugs as the original when it got launched. Now, the original supposedly is better now. 
developers did um, improve it because I noticed their review, recent review has gone up a little bit. Yeah, the uh, the um, Against the Storm in March was announced. Unless they just announced a new one today. Did I miss the announcement today? No, yeah. Oh, no, there is an announcement today. You're right. Update 1.2 preview. We're excited to announce that the upcoming update 1.2 will be released on Monday, March 4th. That is next week. Uh, join us as we showcase some of the new features that will be included in the update and tune in live on Twitch on Thursday, February 29th. Oh, that is... That is a uh, leap year day, right? So this Thursday, we're getting uh, a preview. Important, everyone, due to the numerous systematic changes, the update will close all ongoing settlements to avoid potential issues. We will re we will be reimbursed. You will be reimbursed for the settlement closed in this manner with Citadel resources you re you receive for winning the game. If you do, if you don't want the settlement to be closed, please make sure to finish it before the update goes live on Monday, March fourth. Uh, check out the full announcement with previews, right? With previews. Let me go ahead and look at this. Uh, P.S. I hope you don't mind the ping in the future for smaller announcements. We ping the platform specific roles, which you can self assign the roles. Okay, that's just Discord related stuff. Um, all right, so let me read over the what's new in update 1.2. Um, let's go with slow mode here so you guys can watch this while I uh, read through this. All right, so update 1.2 sneak peek in the recent roadmap announcements. We already teased some of the upcoming features, production consumption trends window, blight post upgrades, world events, unique art. Latin America, Spanish localization. Cool. Um, and then every world event will get a unique art and sound effect to make each of them one of a kind. That's cool too. Uh, what else? We're also adding a, a highly requested consumption production window called Trends in the Game. So they have, actually have a screenshot. It contains graphics that show how the total amount of a certain resource has changed over time. It allows you to check whether it's increasing, decreasing, or maintaining at a stable level. It allows you to check what influence the inflow or outflow of the resource at a select selected time interval from a predefined range. Okay, so this little preview that they've got you can choose any resource on the left-hand side, and then it actually shows you a little trend window of each of the resource that you, you pick. Uh, what's more, the Blight Post will receive its own upgrades, including physical uh, autom uh, autonomations. So basically, we're going to get some robots for the Blight Post, which is interesting, huh? Yeah, you can get you can get up to two. Yeah, you can get up to two robots. So one of them uh, will be filled by a human. Hey, thanks for the follow there, Chez Ashida. Update Tuesday, I think. Streaming day, Dev and QA on Thursday. No, the update is going on Monday. Uh, it says it's going to be a Monday, Feb March fourth release. And then Thursday is the, this Thursday, this upcoming Thursday is the preview. Um, but that's not all. The update will also include multiple balance changes, e.g. the newest orders. Um, the newest uh, orders basically has some bugs. Bug fixes, useful quality of life improvements. Um, such as the search bar and the encyclopedia and many more. We're going, we'll be going over each of these in the deep in detail during this week's live stream. All right, very nice, very nice. Um, so the Blight Post has some interesting upgrade choices, but I don't know what the up, the, the upgrades are, but I can see from the, the upgrade or this little screen here, the third option for level one and the third option for level two are robots. 
So it looks like you can have up to two robots and one slot a human is required. Um, let's see. Hang on, let me add this over here. And then we're going to put one in here. So... I don't know if that's a good thing if you have harpies on your team because ideally you want harpies to fill up the slots to have a chance to proc. That is something that might be be good to have, right? I, unless the robots don't deliver or carry anything, I don't know. They, I'm sure they have to carry the stuff, right? Because in the. The robots for the mines and the robots, or not the robots for the mines, the robots for the, the pump, um, they don't have to carry anything. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up again. Oh, it's probably because of the the stone that's sitting there, right? All right, have to do the veggies right next to it, like that. Hopefully, they'll walk around it. I don't know. All right, that should work actually. They'll go like this and this. Yeah, okay, that should theoretically work. And then... Which one of these? The stones or the red ones, right? Yeah, the red ones. Okay, I can remove this. There we go. Um, and then we're gonna re-enable that. So we've got um, porridge for everybody. Yeah, so I guess we will be doing some more Against the Storm on Thursday. It'll probably have to be after. I'll have to start at, what, 9? 10. 10, maybe. 9 or 10. I forgot. I'll have to look at the, the time frame. But yesterday, I did stream the uh, game... The tribe must not survive, or must survive, right? Must, must not. The tribe must survive, and we did not survive. It was actually really fun. What time zone are you? I'm in uh, California. Um, Eastern, or sorry, Pacific Standard Time. So that guy is the frog. So this is very exciting. We're getting a new uh, update next Monday. Hopefully there'll be some really cool new changes as well. Well, I guess the Blight post is the only major change. The other stuff is what? Bug fixes, art, cosmetics, and a visual trend window. Which doesn't really change the game mechanics. I think the only thing that might change the game mechanics is the Blight Post, right? Yeah, I think the Blight Post is probably the only thing that's that's major. Game changing. Oh, a little too late there. No hiding the fuel. Oh, you know what? I should have probably used that earlier. Hello. What do you got for me? Alright, please don't be woodcutter's prayers. 
Okay, so gain three barrels for every 10 planks produced. Not terribly bad, right? Not terribly bad. Because that gets us at least a supply of pickle goods. Or I re-roll for something better. Let's re-roll. Miss Piercer, huh? Miss Piercer, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna take the green water. I don't know about the that one. I don't know, Miss Piercer. Let's take a look at the this one. All right, so left gets us plus one blue water, right? I don't mind that. Uh, the right I can get get done right away it gets me two people um and i get parts right away i'm playing in here can you just take miss next day i i don't have to take it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open the glades first and then i'll take the miss piercer because i know i want to get the green water um i'm gonna take this one Gets us parts. Alright, I'm gonna take this one because Miss Piercer is going to tell us where to go. That should not be too hard. Okay, we're gonna get the up arrow. Oh, do not fell trees in 50 seconds. That's not happening since we have to open glades. Uh, we're gonna take this one, right? The coat's not too hard. And we need a brewery. Or cut through the forest to discover three. I'm gonna hold off on that one first. So what I'm gonna do is... What's the most count here? We're gonna take more harpies. Um, so we need to find ruins and we need to open glades, right? I need to open this first. Come on. Do it now, please. Jesus. Okay, so we're now we're gonna take the mist piercer. Let's not have a ruin. That has a ruin. Oh my god, look at that on the left. Holy shit. Haunted Forest. What is Haunted Forest, guys? I have to look at... What is Haunted Forest? Um, not Haunted Forest. What is it? Open Vault, right? I think it's Open Vault. Open Vault. Does anyone know what Open Vault is right away? Let me take a look at this. Give me a second, I'm loading up my thing. Um, open Vault. Okay, Open Vault is just materials on the right. Do we have the materials? We do have some materials, right? We have five, okay, Open Vault should be fine. And then I need one more. Well, opening that gets me soil. Lumber mill? Oh my god! The lumber mill and blight rock cauldron? What? I got kiln and carpenter on the rock. Oh my god, these are so good. 
Okay, destroyed caravan, right. Okay, the small abandoned cache is good. The reason I'm looking at that one is because that lowers hostility. That pays for itself. Weaver, right? There's a large abandoned cache in that one. And a medium in that one. Okay, so opening the medium... It'll half the value of the hostility. This will half the value of the hostility. Lightning catcher. Granary, wow. Fishman cave, no. Huh, this is actually not a bad spot here either, but... Okay. Oh jeez, look at all that. Juicy stuff. Supplier! Supplier. Tinctuary. There's a lot of good stuff on this map. Oh. The only thing we could use is what? Altarp Decay. Oh! <laughs> Altarp K right there. Okay. It's a hop, skip it over, right? Altarp Decay. And a second lumber mill. Lightning Catcher. All right. I'm probably going to go with this one first because I think the Blight Rot Cauldron is easy to do without any consequence. Well, Open Bolt is also easy to do, right? Hang on. Open Bolt is, is easy, right? It's got a minus 12 penalty to resolve for woodcutters and gatherers. That's about it. Um, okay, all right. Well, first of all, I gotta pay. Oh, I can't pay. Oh, I need trades to pay for it. Oh, dear. I guess I'll have to give up the clay. What else can I pay for? What is this? Up arrow too, right? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. That's fine. That's gonna open. I need two. I also need two, right? I don't have two to, to give. Oh my god, the veggies. Do I want to lose my veggies? Hmm. Do I want to lose my veggies? Alright, well we need to get into this one, right? The open vault first is easier. And then I need to go with a small one. I mean, this one's not bad, right? Because that gets us the... I mean, this is not bad either. I can I can definitely solve that. I just don't know how I'm going to pay for it. That's the problem. If I sell my veggies now... I can just open this one, right? Yeah, I guess I'll sell the veggies, because I need to... Yeah, I'll, I'll sell the veggies. I gotta go into this one. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Alright, so we need to get the ruin. Which is better. Oh my lord. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Um, okay. Uh, I can't stop myself from playing the new Splatoon DLC, even though I've had a shooter. That's why I thought uh, to myself, how am I supposed to beat that? I'm not sure about that. Can you pester the devs to change the Forbidden Glaze icon, Ron? No. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, they're not going to listen to 
my just my only input on that one since that's more visual they're, they're gonna want to hear community feedbacks for that one five and a two Five and a two. Where's my foxes? I only have two. Oh. Shit. This is a four. I don't have a four. This one I, I should be able to do. But I'm going to have to switch these guys out. And then... Harpies, where are my harpies? Uh, we need humans on that one, right? And then what else? I need to get... I need to get one of these. Yeah, I need to get one of those. We're gonna do this. Since we have the kiln. Unless I can do that. Hmm. I need a way to get the kiln, guys. Is there a kiln in any of this? Oh, oh shit! I should have taken that before opening the glade. That was my bad. Oh god. I screwed up on that one. Did not pay attention. Okay, well, oh, sorry. Damn it. I should have... I should have taken it before opening it. Because then I could have gotten the check off, because I was going to open three. That one and the other, the other two. I don't see a brewery in any of this. Yeah, I was looking for a brewery to see if I can complete the brewery at the same time. Uh, watch streak. Hey, Yusuf Semperu. Hi, Ron. Great stream. Yes. Hey, Elo. Elo. Welcome back. Or welcome. Elo him. First time chatter. Welcome. Yeah, there's no brewery on any of this. Unless I'm missing it. No. Alright, that's the last tip, right? No. Yeah, that's the last tip. Leather worker. Haunted cellar. I'm not missing anything, right? I mean, small destroyed caravan is also easy to do. Alright, you know what? I'll just take the... Unless I magically get a brewery. From one of my souls. I think I'm just gonna go with the easy one. Alright, so I need to get into this one, right? Or should I go for the... Why are you upset? Oh, because of the hunger. Okay, because of the hunger. Alright, we'll give you coats. How's that? Enjoy the coats. And then maybe a house. Or two. Actually, hang on. Let me take this off. Right. 
Because that needs to be solved. Good God. Still no harpies? You screw me over every day. That needs to be solved, right? And we need to open this over here. Like today. Like now. Hurry, please. Hurry, please. Come on. Damn it. Alright, so this one I need bricks for, right? Okay. Come on. All right, so the rune's done. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. We're in a tool shop. And there's soil here. How many is that? That's 11. That's about as if we open the other one. This needs to go, right? Okay. Come on, open says me. Finally. Time orders ready. Beautiful. Yeah, let's take it now. Ooh, plantation. Let's take the plantation. All right, so now we have everything that's necessary for the pie, right? Well, no, no, no. We still need flour. You're my sunflower. How often do you, do you lose to the queen's hands? Uh, I haven't done the queen hands in a while, but I did lose um, my first run. My first... My first to run ever, because that was the first time the game was introduced to the general public in the press version. And then my third run I completed, I was the first ever to complete the Queen Hands Trial uh, that was released to the public. And, sorry, to the, to the press version. And then I was also the first person to win the uh, Content Creators event. And then I lost my fifth and sixth run that was during the press release and then i have not done it on release yet the release version so i will probably do the release version maybe next week we'll see the reason why i'm not doing it this week i was actually going to do it this week but i figure that the Queen Hands Trial does require some effort and a lot of time. And knowing me, I, I definitely want to put in long streaming hours for it. But since this week, we've got a um, a release game, the Gore DLC and Dare Drop. And I know that I'm going to have to put some time into that for the Dare Drop. So I want to hold off on doing the Queen Hands Trial until things die down a little bit in terms of things I have to stream or create content for. Um, Alright, so this one was the incense, right? But we don't need that right away. Let's just go with... Ah, oh, shit. Yep. 
Yeah, rest of chat. How far along are you? I'm still on Vice Red going after the gold seal. Oh, well, that's good. Going after the gold seal is a good thing because then you can actually... Um, you can actually do the... Uh, the uh, what, what is it called? The seal contract that allows you to to choose whatever seal you want and skip over everything. And that's what basically I did was skip over the other content or the other seals. All right, cool. Let's go with that. This is year two, right? I got a, I got a tool shop. Very nice. Um, I want to get the blight post too, right? I can't get the blight post. I need to get the bricks. All right, so we're gonna go like this. Get some some stones back here, right? I need to get rid of that, whatever the hell that is. Okay. And we are making... Making porridge still, right? Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing you live. Hey, I've been watching and re-watching your YouTube videos on video number three. Thank you. You're talking about the walkthrough guide on video on number three. Is that is that what you're watching? I'm curious to see which one you're talking about because there's so many. There number threes, right? I have like multiple playlists. Uh, the new player one, yeah. Okay, right. The new player one. That's a good one. That's actually a good the live version. Because all the other ones, I, I fumbled a lot very early on. Um, the new player reset one is not terribly bad. And I need to get this one, right? Oh dear lord, we're gonna have to let her have her coats. Oh, well, actually we don't. Yes, we do. No. Yes, we do. We do. We do have to let her have her coats. Oh no, actually we don't. We can take that off. Hurry, please. I want to buff this. Hurry, please. Just get the hell out. I need that one right away, right? Um. All right. So what else? What do we got? Nice, you procs, very nice. Alright, that's it, right? We don't need to do that anymore. Come on, lady. Now we can get the kiln. And then... We're gonna have to cut carve through this. So I did enable the coal, right? Yeah, they're burning the coal. We're gonna put the blight post here. No, hang on. Blight post here. Yep, right there.
All right, and then we're gonna need buffers for that one. And we're gonna also want one of these. Whenever that other guy, whoever this is, that chick, right, takes care of her thing. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna want this too, don't we? Totally forgot about that one. And we're gonna want the tool shop, right? I mean, this is technically useless. I shouldn't have piped that one. The reason being is we're gonna get a lumber mill over here and we have a tool shop. So the only thing this one's useful for is the luxury goods. Yeah. Ron, what's your favorite building? Everybody knows it's the workshop, right? No, I'm kidding. Um, I'd say the monastery, the beanery, and the kiln. Those particular buildings are pretty good. Monastery, because it's basically lowers hostility. And it gives you, it lets you use the religious stuff and the beer. Um... The beanery, of course, because this is pickle goods and also the porridge and also the crystal bars. I think those are my favorite buildings. Can't do that one right away, right? I probably should have done this one first. I'm thinking. No, that doesn't go there. Shit, I have to go there. Yeah, that has to go there. And uh, this one right here? That's next, but I can't do that right now. Damn it. What do you got for me? Nothing good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do... We're already getting the minus 10 already for free, right? We're definitely gonna do this one. So then that gets us... That stacks, right? Right, so this one and this one stacks. That's minus 25 off the bat. Just doing that alone. Very nice. I'm gonna bite on this one. And because we have this... Come on, lady. Oh, it's because of this. Oh, God. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh. Alright, I'll take the left, actually. I don't have to worry about this as much. Alright, so that is a no worry. Hang on. There you go. Alright, so this lady here, I've got nothing for you. Absolutely nothing. Can't do anything. Nope, can't. Can't. Give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my goodness. Um, oh no. 70, oh, I can't do that. Temple? No. This one I should be able to do, right? 
Yeah, Temple for the infinite oil sacrifice combo. What about you? A temple's not bad, sort of, if you can get some way to burn it. I know a lot of people like that strategy. Um, I wouldn't be able to, to, to do that all the time. Let's see here. Cut through glades, right? I mean, this is kind of a stretch. I'd have to have, like... Well, I know I'm going to have to open three, right? Three dangerous glades. Let's go with this one. That's only, like, two, two, two other ones after. Alright, so this is getting its upgrade, right? Next week. And then box homes, right? It's box homes. Come on, ladies. Right here, right here. Two, three. That's one, right? Oh, come on. Jesus. Oh, I need, I need bars. I need bars. I need a lot of things. Yeah, I need a lot of things. Ooh, advanced rain collector or a greenhouse. Oh no. What's here? Hmm. So here's the other thing, too, is if I open too many glades, the impatient goes up. Advanced rain collector or greenhouse. We don't need the greenhouse. That's the thing, we don't really need the greenhouse. Advanced rain collector is not terribly bad, because then I won't have to collect the yellow water or the blue water. I don't know yet. Oh shit, I should have favored the humans. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have favored the humans. One more. Coffee break. Oh shit, the foxes are starving already. Oh, oh goodness. There's a lot to do, right? Alright, I'm going to turn this in now. Let's take this off. Uh -huh. Oh, she didn't finish that last one, did she? Oh, she didn't finish that last one. Terrible. Um, 
Yeah, I guess I'll take that. I don't know if we're going to get the tent oil from anywhere else. Hurry, please. Man, we really need more more shit going here. Yeah. Um, hmm. Alright, I'll just take it. That's fine. We'll take it. Because it's basically one guy on the advanced rain collector is equivalent to two guys on one rain collector. And that's two, right? Or how are you coming along? That's 14, right? Shit. I don't know. Here, what else can I do here? Can take this off. Or... I can't fa favor the humans. Ugh, next time. Okay, let's see here. Shit. Might be a problem. Might be a problem. Oh, I really shouldn't have done that, because I have the, um, tool shop. God, terrible. I'm an idiot. We might not make it. <laughs> we might not make it! Oh, we didn't even get the last two. Jesus Christ. So we basically got only eight out of the whole lot. Which is annoying. Tell me you got it. Fifteen? It's cutting it close. Somebody might die. Nope. Fifteen. Somebody might die. We were in position though already early, right at the storm, so we might not might not be that bad. I'm still trying to win game. Seems pretty hard to me, and I haven't got prestige yet. Oh, killing is great, but it's the it makes the game boring feel, and the easiest complex food is very strong. Yeah, some people. It's funny that you say that because somebody else was saying this is like not that great. I think I think it was uh, Herbabat was complaining about how this is a really bad choice at the beginning of the game because none of this matters. I, I don't know where he was coming from on that one either. But he was debating against the kiln being not that great. And you here saying it's too strong. It's kind of funny how people have different opinions, huh? Well, I guess your mileage varies depending on who you talk to, right? Is 
So how are we what? Okay. Come on. Okay, cool. That's fine. What do we got here? Oil or wood? Nope, none of the above. And I need one of these right here. It's like in right there or no? I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe. Well, right now, I can't. I gotta stick this here first, right? Maybe. Well, this goes here. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I'll go like that. That's fine. That works for me. I don't need all of you guys in there. Um, Alright, which one is this? Bricks and fabric. Bricks and fabric. I need fabric runs. And I need bricks. And then this one, I gotta figure out how to get. Hiya! No. No. Hey! Ooh! Woodcutter's prayers. Actually, that's going to save me, but I got 20 oil, though. I got to get rid of the 20 oil. Shit, maybe I should have sold the oil while I had the chance. Okay, two for six. Yeah, I guess it's fine, right? Yeah, this is fine. Take it. Um... So if I take the left, I need to get rid of my oil, right? Hey, Mad Raven Man, good morning. That's, I mean, basically giving up, what, 33 and then the, the oil? Yeah. So what can I trade here? For that. What's a good trade? Damn it, one four? Four five? Damn it. All right, so woodcutter's prayers it is. And then now we got to start chopping hardcore. Uh -huh. And we're going to need to take in some people, right? All right, well, I guess I'll take the bricks. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and clean this up. All right, what else can I do here? One for four, one for three? No. All right, so I need this, three of those, and, and some of that. And 
I need the tool workshop running. Yeah, what, what are you struggling with? Uh, oh, you're asking um, Chaz Asta. Uh, I'm trying to win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what are you struggling with right now? Alright, that's fine, right? Let me take this off. Um, and I need this one, right? Or the the other one. And then, do we have enough for the? No, right? We need what? Twenty nine more. Sorry. 18, 19 more, 19 more. Nineteen more. Alright. So, humans. We're gonna knock out the humans one, right? And what do you got for me? Ooh, 12 humans and coats? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oh, the one on the right wasn't bad either. The one on the right was not bad. Yep. Where are all my humans? Come on, humans! Give, give me, give me! I need coats, right? There you go. Upvoted the made forbidden in bold and text goals in the suggestion box after that. Mostly trying to get enough stuff for the gold steel. I was able to get enough to try once, but lost because I missed the goal. Open two vault, uh, forbidden or uh, four seals, but only open two dangerous glades instead. Haven't been able to... Oh, you should do the uh, water. Yeah, the last, the last objective is kind of hard to do. I know what you're talking about. Every day, some dumb spam caller. I keep blocking them, they just keep coming. Alright, so did we get everything? We did get everything on that one. Yeah, it's funny because I thought I had one but lost because of the impatient right as I opened the second glade. Oh. Yep. Yep. I know what you're going through. Damn, that was rough. It was funny because I thought, yeah. Alright, so humans. If I take that now, I can get... On this side, right? Hmm. Think in here. 
That's fine. We'll go with that. That should give me the eight on that side. Right, that should give me the eight on that side. Um, redo this. And then what else? I should probably get some of this, right? Alright, so needs fulfillment is next, right? 22. Oh, it's about the same as the last one. Yeah, 10, 3. Okay, that's fine, right? So food is fine for now, for the most part. There you go. Add a little extra something there. And then we're going to go with this. Alright. Let's turn in the humans. Because then that will get me the 22 I need, right, for this, for this side. Alright, uh-huh. Yo. Nope. That doesn't, do make, that doesn't make a difference, does it? Since that doesn't make a difference, I might as well be chopping. Alright, what do you got for me? Ooh, a druid's hut. Or skewers. Wow. Skewers also makes beer. Right, the grill thingy. That gets foxes and humans to be happy. Oil's not bad because I can use that as an event solve. Because that solves this one over here, right? It also can solve this one over here, too. Hmm. Oil or grill? I mean, that is the best grill in the game, too. Well, Skewers saves you a lot of resources, right? Six units? If this does a double yield, you actually get a lot. This is the best Skewers in the game, right? Because normally, if you do a, a two-star, it's four or four to get 10. So six set, a three, three to get 10, you save a lot. You really save a lot, right? If you have a ranch, it's even better because you just funnel this into this and then just um, get the meat, right? Especially, especially lizard on this because lizard eats this, right? Lizard gets their warmth bonus and lizard has a double chance yield on top of your rainwater Grill is is the one of the best. And then this is not, you know, this is a side perk, right? If you if you're getting some of this, you might as well get bars. Side perk, right? For humans, beavers, and I mean overall this building helps a lot of species. I mean oil this could come around. In a press or something. I think there was a press over here earlier, right? Pretty sure I saw a press earlier. That gets me oil. Granary is... Pretty sure I saw a press earlier. Oh, there's a druid's hut right over here if I wanted a druid's hut, right? That's, that's three star everything. Uh, pretty sure that I saw a press earlier. Haunted cellar? Uh, could 
could have sworn there was like a press her earlier. Not that I'll, I'm gonna get it though, but could have sworn I saw a press earlier. I can't find it anymore. Can't find it. Altar. We're definitely going to the altar of decay. I could have sworn I saw a press earlier, but maybe I maybe I was mistaken. I could have sworn I saw a press earlier. I mean, if it's not within my range, I'm not probably not even gonna go there. So. Okay. Well, let's see here. We're, we're we need to open six total, right? This one I can do. Lightning catcher. What is that? Lightning catcher again? I don't think lightning catcher is that hard. It's all oil, right? Oh, it's it is kind of hard actually. In, in terms of the right side, it's oil and containers. Yeah, lightning catcher. Well, the left side is not too hard. Left side is minus 12. Fishman Lighthouse is different, right? Fishman Lighthouse might be okay. No, Fishman Lighthouse is an impatient increase and also it's oil, though. It's 30 oil. It's actually not bad. 30 oil. This one is coats, right? We're gonna need coats for this. All right, we'll we'll do the left, I guess. I mean, that is the best pickled goods thing. It's sorry, the uh, skewers. But the oil will probably solve more more events. I need to get also a uh, a flower building of some sort. So I need farm field too, right? This has fifteen, right? Yeah, okay. Where are all my people at? I gotta get off this, all of this off. Alright, so that sucks. Hmm. Two people need to go over there. Alright, so I also need some sort of... Um, Alright, so hang on. Woodcutter's Prayers is not something I have to delete, right? It's basically, I just chop. Um, what else? I need one of these. Okay. Guess I'll take that out, right? So we have five or eight on this side and 14 on this side, right? I need to start thinking about getting more buildings here for the The foxes. Fox homes. Or what about my trains? Two for four is not bad. 
13 for oh my god look how many i have on this jesus christ look at all that where are all my my harpy is at Okay. Alright, so I need to start opening glaives, right? This one right here. And that one right there. And that needs oil. Oh, I need a harpy for that too. Jesus, harpies. The kiln? And what else? Where's all my harpies at? Where are all the harpies at? Can't find a decent harpy. There's three harpies. Where's the harpy? I see one in the kiln and one in the... Oh, it's this guy right here. There you go. And this one is the oven. Yeah, that one I can't do. I need flour. Okay. Forger's got nothing. Start getting something. Hopefully that'll empty the the woodcutters out. And I need to start making what else do we have? Okay, I should be able to do the right. Well, 15 coins is a lot easier, but I think the right... I get tools for free. Four of those. I need, what, 25 of these? What is that? Maybe if it procs, right? So, 12? 12 times 4? Maybe... Oh, it's not gonna happen. It's, yeah, that's not going to happen, but we'll see. We will see. Delivery line, I'll take it. Wow. This is crazy. Call me crazy. We're getting so many good stuff here. Four on the left, four on the right. Four on the left, four on the right. Okay, so that guy is getting euphoric. Right. Okay. Is it time to open shit? What do you got for me? Ooh. Hmm. 32. One minute, 40 seconds? Damn it. 32? Hmm. That's a little, really expensive. Not sure about that. This is your five, right? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, for the most part, everybody's happy. And I can start lowering hostility by taking on this right here now, right? Sure, why not? Let's start that going. That's like, what, 25? Yeah, it's going to be a minus 25. Harpies aren't happy. Um, Harpy House, right? Harpy House. Actually, hang on. Let me just move it over here. Because we're going to eventually put that on that side anyways. Alright, what do you got for me? Tavern, nice! I'll take the tavern. Beautiful. Alright, we got a tavern without having to do the other one, right? This one is the Blight Rock Cauldron. All right, let's go do the Blight Rock Cauldron. We should be able to take care of that easily. Uh, why are you taking so long? Why are you taking so long? Oh, you're just terrible. Oh, man. Okay. Oh my god, I got that too. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's empathy, right? Makelia. Makelia. Alright, so I got ten of those. I need more... more of the religious shit. Yep, more religious shit. And then this is the one we want, ultimately. Which one is that one? That's the oven, right? We need flour! We need flour. You're my sunflower. Alright, so that gets us plus three soon. Where are my harpies? Okay. And then this right here gets me... The soil 
that right there, I need the wood. And did you get this one already? You did, right? Nice. Okay, everyone's moving. Everyone's grooving. I need wood, right? And this is what, 10? Oh goodness. All right, that one. We're gonna have to worry about the no contact, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the no contact. I gotta make sure I don't turn that in right at the... Right at the storm. Number two, right? So this one I gotta pay attention to because no contact, basically, this bar does not move. And I'm gonna need to move that bar because opening more glades cost me impatient points. So moving this bar is essential for us. Have you considered playing Last Epoch? Yes, I have, Raven. Um... I might actually have to buy that unless I could contact the developers and go, hey, can I get a copy for review? But I doubt it. That game's just way too popular for them to even hand out keys for. But lately, I've just been like, okay, if developers are giving me keys, I might as well be streaming or making coverage of those games. I don't have to buy anything. And that's always a nice little perk. The last epoch looks really cool, and uh, I I used to play a lot of Path of Exiles. I'm a big Path of Exiles fan. Diablo just was a huge letdown. Like I, Diablo, or whatever. My God, it's terrible, right? It's terrible. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Diablo Four, just terrible, terrible game. I don't know what they're thinking. How do they just make Diablo 4 so bad? Like, they had, like, years of development. And my friend was working at that place, too, at Blizzard. He was their marketing guy. And he was telling me, this is, like, six years out. Six years ago. And I was excited for Diablo. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I had saved up my WoW gold a long time ago. Right before I, I quit playing WoW, I just decided to cash out my WoW gold when they had this um, this new thing that they introduced a long time ago where you can convert your wild gold like uh, to blizzard dollars. You can't actually cash it out for real money, but you can convert it to either subscription time or blizzard dollars or wallet money or whatever. So I cashed out for wallet money to use for other digital goods, right? You can use that to spend on Heroes of the Storm characters or whatnot right skins or, or whatever so i saved up all my wild gold to be able to buy, buy diablo 4 which was like 70 something dollars ridiculous 70 dollars for this bullshit diablo 4 game i probably could have gotten you know well luckily it's i, I can't buy anything else with my blizzard dollars so i guess i can't complain about that but for anyone who actually bought um, the Diablo 4, I feel sorry for you because you wasted like $70 where you could just spend that $35 on Last Epoch or for free, uh, play Path of Exiles. I, th I think the only people that's playing Diablo 4 are like these Blizzard fanboys or streamers who feel the need that they have to play it to maintain their viewerships. 
Um, yeah, I regret buying it. I mean, yeah, see? You're not alone. You're not alone. I regret buying Diablo with my Blizzard money. Such fail. Alright, I can wait that out. I don't have to turn it in until after the storm. Okay, what else do I need, need to do? I need, okay, so coats. I need to open two more of that. And I need 15 of this. That one I don't have, right? Oh, jeez. I can't do anything about that anyways. Okay. Wrap two loves. At the expense of harpies. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it to you since I gotta do the coats anyways. Yeah, Diablo 4. Mm. I had high hopes. I really did. No wonder their stocks are going down. And the funny thing is, they had already made plans for a DLC that was already in the works while they released it. And they want to charge us more for something that should have already been in the game at the cost of $70, right? $70 should have already included that stupid DLC that they're working on, right? $70 for Diablo 4. Ridiculous. All right, I should probably go to this side, right? Yeah, I probably should have made that side because there's more on that side. Okay, what else? Or what have you got for me? Oh, oh, lumber mill. Okay. Furnace, right? Gets me better bricks, I'll take it. What is it? Furnace gives me better bricks. And then better copper bar making, right? We need a way to make flour. That's the thing that we need the most. No quality? Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I want no quality control. That gets me a ton of wood. More so than ever. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Alright, I need only two people, right? What? Okay, so three, six on the left, uh, five on the right, right? Take the five on the right. Okay, the skewers are back in play, I'll take it. Hmm. Okay. Skewers. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I put this over here. Because then that'll be a perfect... 
Perfect. Two by three. There you go. What do you need for this one? Okay, that's fine. You're done, right? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. That one gets me pottery, right? I'll take it. These aren't bad either. Holy shit. I'm thinking about attacking the chick. Because the death count will help me lower hostility. Yeah, see, I'm running out of blue water. Damn it. Shit, where am I gonna take this? I don't have a place for this. Shit, I don't have a place for this. The challenges of life. Mm. Okay, this is your sex, right? This needs to go up. Thought about attacking the chick, but that window has already passed. Twelve. Oh, shit. No blue water. Fuck. No blue water. Okay, we'll go with that. And then what else? Damn it. That can't go there, is it? Can I? Huh, I don't know. Hang on. I don't know if I like it right there. I don't like it right anywhere. Jeez. Right, let's clear this out first. I want to get that back. Oh, I have that haunted one that I didn't even take advantage of yet. Need for coats? Yes, I'll take it. Come on. Hey, Chauncey Chauce CJ. Thank you for that. Alright, what do you got for me? Ooh, a good brewery. This one should give me two, right? Three, three. I'll take the three. Another one. Why well, don't have the resources? All right, fine. We'll just stick this over here. Yeah, let me take this out. That is the. Three, five, eight, two. Come on. Hopefully that procs. Alright, that one I can't. Fully gain, but that's okay. 
71, right? We're getting like plus two and plus one. Why are why are they so still bad? Hang on, what what is this? This is 17? Yikes. Um Okay, we're gonna need... We're gonna need another one of these. Ah, oh boy. Holy shit, look at all that oil. Yeah, the green water's out. I don't need this. Alright, we can probably stop running that. Hang on, so what, what do we what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I should be able to get that. Um Yeah, they're gonna have to walk through walls on that one. That might be a problem. And so I need, what, two more dangerous. And then four more. Three more small, right? That one we're gonna go through. I don't know about that one yet. And then this one, what is this? Oil. 25, easy. Thirty-seven? Thirty-nine. Let's not eat this right now. I need flour, right? I need flour. Beanery, carpenter kiln. Sex, ugh. How's my wood? All right, let's take this off for now. Alright, what else? The Explorer's Lodge, right? Jesus. Sure, let's take it across the street from this. I've got this haunted farm that I haven't even taken care of yet. It's supposed to be great vegetables. All right, so pack of crops, right? I also need pack of crops. Um, 20? 20, right? 25. 25. Jesus. All right, here we go. Oh shit. All right, what do we have here? 95? Okay. 
We should probably just make one of these. Sucks, right? Oh, we were on the four. Oh, I should have got. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. We were on the four. On the year six, too. Oh, God. We are going to fail this so hardcore. Fuck! Oh, Jesus. I forgot. I should have gotten off the four before letting go. Oh, Jesus. That was a mistake. Damn it. Very, very bad, guys. That was very, very bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it only take effect at the start of the storm? At Yeah, at the start, but then I think if I go up again, it probably will kick back in. I think it might kick back in. The tax planner one does not kick back in. Oh my god. I made a mistake on that one. But that's okay. We lost three people. Whatever. We can afford it. Oh my goodness. Terrible. Ah, oh, terrible. I don't think I can get that in time, can I? I don't think I can get that in time. Find out. Please build! Not happening. Not happening. I'm gonna leave it. Well... On the bright side... We should get some hostility reduction. From people dying, right? I'll take it. Trade efficiency. Tightening the belt, I'll take it. Hmm. It's terrible deals. These are terrible deals, guys. All right, what do you got for me? I'll bite lots, actually. That should get that one done right now. Might as well get this out of the way now. No. Where is he? Burn us, right? 
Where are all my harpies? Where are my harpies? Where are my herpes? Oops, no, no, no! Oh, come on. There. Uh, what else? It's 34 there, right? Let's see here. Fine, I'll just buy that. There. I totally forgot I had that. I didn't need this. I'm an idiot. And I have a lot of bricks, too. How do I get so many bricks? It's like a hundred of those. How do I get so many stones? Yeah, I got like a ton of stones. Alright, this one, right? Elm, hearth, stone cutters. Where else can I... Thick people here. Where is it? This one. Mania's got cooties! Not diligently. So pack of luxury goods, pack of trade goods. One, two, clothing need fulfillment. That's 25 crop fields, farm fields, dangerous glades. This is increasing, right? Do we have the crops? No, there's still a few more to go. Babe Tulas. Babe Tulas. And then what else? I need another harpy house here. Probably another human house here. Okay. What else? What else? Trying to get into this. Don't worry. Always worried. Alright, so finally we got this, right? Sheesh. I'm gonna lift this up and move it. Oh, uh, hang on. One, two, three, four. And we got another one of these. There we go. Brickyard, right? Makes a post. 
25 pack of crops. Alright. Luxury goods, 25. Dangerous glades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need one point. This is your 7. Year seven. What do you got for me? Ooh, the flower. I'll take it. Finally, we can get some flower now. Now we can actually make some brick oven shit. I need lots of coats. Wrap two laws. There. So we can get the coats. What do you got for me? Ooh, survivor bonding. Ooh, oh my god. So many good stuff here. <sighs> survivor bonding is what? Resolve three versus the right. I can get a monastery. Monastery gets me minus three during the storm. No, minus eight during the storm. And plus two during the regular season. Ooh, even better. Oh, quality control. Trade routes were worth more. And then I get 150 meat. It's just 150 meat. I already have this. There's no reason to. Damn. Trade rounds are worth more. Doesn't apply anything. I don't need any of this. I guess I'll take it. It's fine. I have so much to. I guess it doesn't matter. Monastery. What else do I want, guys? Apothecary? Sure. Right? Monastery and what else, guys? I mean, I could do rain mail, but I already have the stamping mill. What else, guys? Monastery. Apothecary. Got tools? I got tools. I already have a tool shop. I think that's it, right? Just these two. Oh shit, I didn't build my blight post. <laughs> oh no. Blight post. Oh dear lord. Oh, we're so screwed, guys. We're so screwed, guys. Another ten. Another three. Another three. Another three, right? I need one more pack of luxury goods. Oh, we're still alive. Still alive. I 
how about that? We're still alive. Not for long, though. This is what? Eight? Okay. And that's 14, right? Oh, we may, we might make it. We might make it. Okay, cool. I probably should have just shut off the water, but whatever. I think we got it. Yeah, we on it. Still alive, guys. Still alive. How about that? Okay. I don't need to turn it in right now. One, two, three. Alright, let's uh get in here now. I don't care about this. All right, so what else? I need a small glade, right? One more large glade. I could probably go this one. Where is all my crap here? 15 of these. That was my money, okay. All right, we should be fine on this one over here. 135. Um, we're, oh God. <laughs> we're gonna lose all the wood here in a second. So, let's use it or lose it. Basically, use it or lose it. Got 32. Alright, we didn't lose too much. So I don't feel too bad. Elon. Akito. All right, you. Where all oh, goodness? Come on. Go, 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 go. This is your age. This is terrible. We're, we're doing so bad today. So I get whatever. I'll take it. One for two? Oof. I probably should have... Should have kept the money. Yep, I should have kept the money. I knew it. Should have kept the money. Wait, how, or what are you bringing? Uh, fine, I'll take the right. right hang on. Woodcutters? That's the loyalty, right? The one is right is also loyalty. We don't need this anymore. We do want some of this, right? Maybe. 
One, two. I need to open another dangerous. Might not even need to worry about paying for all of this. Right. Paying is probably not a big deal. Um, so we got what? One, two, we got one, one luxury left to go, right? Boxes are starving. How are you starving? I just need the farm field and the luxury. No, wait, what? Oh, damn it. That's path, isn't it? Not the same. There you go. So that's what? Farm field and the pack of luxury goods. That's it. And we win, right? And we win. I don't even need this. I don't need this. Oh, uh, we win, right? Eh, alright. That's lackluster, but whatever. Year 8. Decent. Respectable. Could have been better. Could have been faster. Alright, what do you got for me? Okay, frost. Getting frosty here. If I take the frost, I reveal all of this, right? Or I reveal all of it now, all right? Let's go ahead and reveal all of it now. Oh, boy. Fishman Ritual, Flooded Mines. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's like in here. So I need to get this. One. No, that's not going to happen, right? I don't know about this, guys. That's like a triple, right? I get everything on that one. That is a no orders run with flooded mines. And frost all at the same time. How do I feel about this triple combo? Good lord, yes. No orders, flooded mines. Flooded mine is kind of hard at the start of the game. So you can't actually get any rep movement. And we don't have foxes, so that's not a good thing. I don't think I can do that on this group. Yeah, not on that group. I go here. There should be an achievement for a 3x modifier like that. Yeah, I mean, that's as hard, especially if I don't have lizards or foxes. Right? Lizards or foxes. What is this? Raw Willens? Because foxes, I can move reps pretty quickly. Lizards, I can move rep. Harpies, I can move some rep. If I can figure out jerkies. Alright. I'll also think about it. Do I want that combo now? 
Because this is not a good combo because no orders, I can't get any any blueprints out of the gate. Because, okay, so okay, so let me explain to you what the problem here with this modifier. Flooded mines, the hostility is twice the amount for each villager. So I, the first couple of years, I won't be able to move any rep gain while chopping. If I stop taking new villagers at some point, the hostility will level out because every year I get no penalty. So I'll be at a fixed point in time for a while if I don't, if I stop taking villagers. So the goal here is I will need to get some hostility reduction to mitigate the growth of the villager count. The hostility of the villager count. The Fishman Ritual is basically a no orders run. I cannot get any orders, which means I can't depend on anything to move my rep. I could try to open some glades to get some points for, for that, right? And get blueprints that way. Now, my plan was to go here, go here, here, and then here, and then back, and then back, and then this way. And then towards, sorry, tw towards this one, right? Um... Hmm. I, mean, I could do this. And then go this way. I mean, really, I don't know what that is. Or I go this way. And I go this way. Hold off on this. Go here. And then come back this way. And then do, do, do this one, right? And then do this one? Oh no, these are not very good options here. Or I go this way, tap that, tap that, and tap this. Yeah, see, I was hoping that was a negative modifier. All right, so I could try to go this way Tap this, tap that, tap this, tap that, tap this. Wait, does doing modifiers give you something? I was doing them because they were fun. Okay, so negative modifiers, when you roll your mouse over one of these things, it says special reward, royal resupply. If I do this, I get like a ton of resupplies. Right, I get a ton of resupplies. So if I go here, sorry, I go here, I can tap into this. Go back this way. And then go this way. And then reach to this spot here, right? Okay, I'll, I'll do that, I guess. That might actually work. This will not be as interesting. Oh, I guess I could go here, right? And then land here. Oh, that's the same thing. Here or here, right? This one can only get to... Yeah, see, that's kind of... Kind of a reverse problem. Uh, Alright, so... One... Two... Three... Four, right? One... Two, three, four, depending on what this is as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it really depends on what this is. Yeah, this is not as interesting, but that will be where I need to be. Let me do that one. February 27th, dash C20, C30, dash P20, town number four, right? Town number four. Or five, four, four. Yeah, I really don't like having to do uninteresting things. I'm not going to get anything from that other than revealing this. One, two. 
Alright, yeah. right, we'll go with this. That's fine. Alright, so BRB real quick. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs>